Alright guys, what is up? Today we are tackling Delphine Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Wolf Hunter Ranger, the OG. Let's go over this character and all her analysis in these fights. So Delphine dropped today. That's a, that's a nice thing. I mean, we finally got an Alien Ranger. Hooray, leader of the Alien Rangers. But, you know, um, a rare is a rare, and we're just going to just play the character how it is. I mean, we won't judge anyway. Everyone was able to get this character. So let's go over Delphine's Aqua Combo. That's neat. That's a cancel, which is great. That bubble shot is also a cancel. We call that Ninja Art Bubble Jutsu, where you're the six tails. Believe it or not, from that filler episode, you still had to watch at least the last episode where you got caught. Sorry for spoilers. But yeah, no, we're just watching pretty much uh, what Delphine has been bringing to this game is some actually interesting uh, tech. By tech, I mean some of her attacks are pretty like good for what it's worth for even like a rare. Where Danny is still one of the lowest tier rares, uh, Delphine just really brings in the heat with this breaker. I mean, it's really strong, does a lot. It almost reminded me of Korag's strong breaker, as long as you get the attack off. But the only problem with this character was uh, talent trees. It definitely had to be talent treed, sadly. I mean, that's what I was, something I wasn't looking forward to. To really give Ninja Alien her freaking tech, she legit had to freaking, you know... Be a talent tree warrior. Sadly, like the Time Force Rangers, when they get talent treed up, guess what? They actually get more juiced up attacks, and they're finally at their maximum power where they actually are doing damage to the opponent. Sadly, I did not block that because I'm a turd. Let's go. Okay, Iron Bison. I assume he had a shield. He has a bunch of strikes, so again, he's trying to taunt me. I'm like, all right, you can take your taunts. Let's see if you win. Have fun taunting. Don't know why my shield did not come out. All right, so now we're in a situation. Now we're in a situation where this is comeback material. Can she make comebacks? Of course she can. That breaker says a lot. Look at that. Dude, I had nothing but breakers and shields, and I'm over here just wailing with strikes and breakers. Yeah, I was going to wait for that. Ninja Star. Bubble Jutsu. One, two, three. Bam. Got him. So now we're just waiting. He's going to do that punch attack, and then we have Adam. The most important thing about... um. This character is definitely having a shield assist. That's number one. If she has a shield assist, she'll be able to function properly. He took that hit like a champ. Power punch. Right in the gut. So, I only say with a shield because now we're going, going to go into a match where she doesn't have a shield assist. A shield assist is definitely mandatory for almost every character just to have that one extra shield. Not two, just one. Anyways, let's get back to it. I tried to do my breaker, failed, struck again. Yeah, I ran into him again in this video, so we're going to keep showing it because it's a different assist build that we're trying out with the strikes. So double strikes can actually gives more of like the talent tree essence of this character since most of her attacks are strikes. You want to give as much strike damage as you can. Break up! Slush! Yeah, I actually like her. I mean, I don't I don't see too much copy and pasting. Maybe besides the dash punch, that sword strike is definitely her own version of her attack. The bubble shot looks nice. Obviously, it's a ninja move. What do you expect? How else can you throw shurikens when you're a ninja? I mean, we can't blame we can't really get blame anyway for that. I mean, I guess I can give him a buy for that ninja technique. Anyways, Aqua Combo is her cancel. Uh pretty much what Aqua Titian Fist is, it's legit like it's very awkward of a move because there's no da dash cancel to it, so that's her only tiny flaw in my opinion. Because if that had a cancel, then she would be scary as Cracker Jacks. Because Bubble Shot's actually a cancel, and that's actually better. The way that's... Look at that. That's like 10 times better because you think you're going to shoot it, but you're not. And that's good because you need those types of like baits to get your opponent to lose. Go full-blown break. Oh, ching. So with double strikes, I mean, yeah, it's definitely like uh, one of those debate things. I mean, easily to block, but I mean, the strikes are going into her talent tree nonetheless. Because she is a heavy strike character. I mean, her breaker does a lot of damage, but a lot of the damage needs to go into her strikes since that's where the uh, a character is kind of flowing to. She has some good... She actually got an extra crit chance, so she was meant to be a critter. So that's good to know. I mean, balanced characters are supposed to be the balance of getting a, an occasional crit here and there. See? So we try to apply that to the game. Delphine Punch! Yeah, do not doubt the distance on that. That's number one. Bubble Beam! <laughs> Bubble Beam. Ninja Art, Water Bubble Jitsu! Aquata Ranger Power. 
There we go. And that attack is so slick. I like it. Here comes the breaker. The breaker doing that much damage is good enough for good comeback plays. You just got to make sure you can trick them out if they have nothing but double shields. So you just hit them with that breaker when you can. Block. Pop them up. And that crit just sinks it. Ching ching. Pop. So I went back to uh, the Tommy's and Aqua Assist for this one. I just wanted to test it out for this video. And um, yeah, it's also situational too with the punch. I mean, you can push them in. But uh, there's always that those moments where they won't like officially work and stuff. Punch. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. I mean, that strike is kind of fast for the Zanaku play. It just depends, I guess, when you do both back and forth and depending if he's going to react in time. Pop that up. Bam! And that's a pop. Apparently, he didn't... I don't know if he got affected by that because he was blue. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm kind of confused. Oh, I missed so many breaker opportunities. I was actually upset about that. I'm like, oh, back-to-back -back shields. I could have done a breaker and really sink the, the pendant on that one. All right, there's another nice Aquatinian punch, and there's Adam coming in hot. Here comes a kick. Bam, that's a pop-up. That's the beauty of Zanaku. If they're trying to close the gap, you can just push them away, Zanaku. So here's our biggest situation. No shields. Yikes. That was definitely... Oh, God. Damn. Punch, and then Tommy, and then slice it slice Sweep the knee. So we're waiting for him. Eek. And then pop him up. And the fact that he didn't die was scary as shit. <laughs> Take that punch for game. All I could really say was I was 2% from retirement. Maybe I gave her just one itty bitty strike damage. I would have got it. It was supposed to kill him. And that was what maxed out Zach too because he had 60,000 HP. Jesus. Okay. And that's a block. Ninja Arts. Go. Aquatidian Hydro Slash. Power Punch. Aqua Bubbles. Aqua Force. Ha. Threw some Vanguard in there, you filthy casuals. <laughs> All right. We got... So, first off, Daishi's really good if you don't have a shield assist. Uh, definitely, Daishi can always get a lot of profit with those threes, period. Bam. Block. Breaker time. So this part I was kind of debating on the energy, but I was like, nah, I got to punch him before he does the... I rather deal with Phantom Beast, and I'm like trying to cycle into a shield here. Then he finally got a shield, so I was wondering why he stopped his momentum. I could have canceled that, but it's like, uh, no. There we go. Sweep of the knee. I was not going to cancel. Going full idiot sometimes works. Once you go full idiot, just know the match is almost yours. Bada bing, bada boom. We pop him up. We backdash, we backdash. Boom! You thought. <laughs> Bubble gun. Let go. So I did one more assist build for her because I do like Ninja White. She's awesome. Just reminds me of uh, Kaku Rangers. Uh, this is great to see finally. I mean, now we have Ninja or Ninja Man and now Ninja White, you know. So there's that. You know, I got my little Sentai references here and there. So that's good. So we're going to be fighting Ultra Instinct over here, Kimberly. So let's see what we can do. Combo. There we go. I just love the range on that because it's legit full screen. Two of those bubbles are amazing for a three cost hit. Like, holy crap. No. No. No, we got it. We got it. Bam. Fake it. That sometimes can be baited. Shockingly can be baited. I don't know how, but it works. Dang. Delphine's got that hip that like hitbox on lockdown. Then we pop him up, and then we pop him up again, and then we go for slicing, and now Kimmy's in the rut. Now she's going Ultra Instincts. Bam, she got a shield, and then she got back-to-back -back lucky perfect shots, which was annoying. And I try to go at him before she could do Ranger Slayer. One, two, three. G, G's. Click. <laughs> And now we head into the final match of this video. I hope you are excited. But yeah, Delphine was a great leader release. So that was bad. so now Enway's two for two. Pumpkin Wrapper and this. So that's good. We'll see what they do next. But I definitely like this character for her worth. I mean, that breaker. She has good comeback tech. I mean, it just sucks that she's just a freaking talent tree a-hole. But that's about it. I mean, everything else is pretty solid for her, like, toolkit. But yeah, I like it. 
definitely pretty straightforward character. It's like nice. It's neat. It does work. I mean, seriously, like that breaker is like the bread and butter of her, this character, and it does such good damage, man. The best. Nothing beats Snide's damage, though, but it is definitely a close. I'm pretty sure this character at 11, that breaker is definitely hitting in the 10Ks. For sure, is hitting in 10Ks if you're at level freaking 10 with her and your talent trees max. That thing is definitely at 10K, so she'd be doing a lot. Of, she kills your bar very quickly with that one breaker. Is legit killing half or a good chunk of your health, so that's good to know. No, leave me alone. Punch in the poop. All right, guys, that concludes our tips and tricks on Delphine. I hope you find this video helpful. I'm signing out. You all have a good one. Peace out. Live long, prosper. Yandu, yandu. I'm outie.